Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to use props in React and what are props and how can you use them and what are the different ways to use props. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a Miro board here just for the demonstration. Why do we use props? So everything in React is about hierarchy. So as I have shown you in the previous videos that we have parent components then we have child components and those child components can also have their child components so you can have like this tree structure you can call it like hierarchies so over here we have our Miro board and i have made this these components so first of all we have uh, our component a which is a root level component you can say or you can call it like parent level component so it's a parent component it has two child b and c so b is a child of a and c is a child of a uh, but B also has a child component D and similarly C has a child component E and this can go down to many levels. But this is the basic structure I'm showing you. Uh, but the thing is, how can you pass data from A to D? That's the thing. So you need to have a way where you can pass arguments or we call them props in React so that if you pass to A, B can can access them and if you pass to B the D and E can access them so in this video we'll see how to use that and how to how to use props to pass data so props is a shorthand of properties but no one call it properties in react everyone calls it props okay so let's get started so what we need to do is we can uh, create some components here so let's just create a file we, let's call it parent.jsx and then inside it, I can call it child1.jsx. So we have this parent component and we have this child component. So let's say we have a parent component function parent. We just return it will just return parent. And then we will export it. So when I save it and inside our app.js, I can import this function just below the header. Parent. Save it and then I need to import it. And we are seeing this error because I cannot spell function. So now we should have it. If I refresh it. See, we have our parent component here. Alrighty what we need to do next we need to now create our child component so let's just do that maybe i'll just copy this guy and paste it over here and make it just like this and make it child so now i can import this again now, I'm not going to import our child component inside the app.js because that will destroy the purpose of having a child component. So you will import that child component where? So that's the question for you. So think, where should we import this component? Okay, so we should import that inside parent because for child one, parent is the parent component, but for parent, app is the parent component so we will be importing parent inside app and we will be importing child one inside parent component hope that's not too confusing so let's go to parent and then instead of just import the child component child one this is child one and this is child one okay so this is a child this is a paragraph this is oh i need to fix this so now so we have our header over here and then we have our child component over here so far so good but 
what about if we need to pass some data what about if we need to pass some data from our parent to child how can we do that so we'll see over here so inside our parent so inside our child let's go to child and let's say we need some props so let's say we need some props and then we need to uh, show that prop here maybe it's a name hey hey my name is blank so my name is props for now so let's say we're just passing some props this won't work because uh react is complaining we didn't pass anything props and then the prop holds some properties and we, we are not passing any properties so in our case it should be like props.name so there should be a name property which it will import but right now it doesn't have it so it's just showing it blank so let's do it this far let's go to parent and we need to pass that name here so let's say we called that name alex so we can pass like props here so we can pass our props like that and then we can call it alex so as you can see here the alex is shown here so that's how you pass props in react that's the simplest example of passing props you're importing your component and you're passing it like this so there's a name property then you can add properties you can add age you can add city whatever like you want to add you can add it over here Alrighty, that's good that's good and that's how you pass props now imagine let's say you have a name and then let's let's add some oh, let's add a city and maybe like toronto and let's pass age maybe like 22 now we're passing these properties and now we need to catch them in our child component so we can do like props.name and then uh, i live in props.city i think it's a city city and i am oh, props.age years old now see i'm living i live in toronto and i'm 20 22 years old that all that that's all good but as you seen like we have these props everywhere we have one two three four props imagine we have multiple props then we will be we need to write all these props here this is a simple way to remove these props what we can do we can destructuring uh these props so let's just get rid of these props from here first and then instead of putting props we can just write those properties in a destructured way so we can pass our name age and of oh, cities first so city and then age now that's good because complaining that there is no prop so we need to delete all these props and if we save it see it gives the same result and then we don't need to write all these props so this is the called uh props destructuring in react and i'll uh, show it again what i'm doing here so we have our child component inside our parent component and we are passing these properties and uh, these properties are fetched by our child one component uh, and then we're passing it it should be like child one but that's okay uh, so we're passing our name city and age and then we are rendering it uh, inside our child one component okay so the next way of passing props is via spread operator so we can use spread operator instead of uh, writing our props like that and sometimes those props can also be coming from the parent component i mean the app component here so how can we pass props from app component from here we're rendering parent and then it goes down to parent component and then it goes down to child component how can we do that let's see that so if you're still confused so see this mirror board again okay let me move it out here so you can see it see right now we are uh, passing our props here and then passing it to child instead of maybe there is a way 
your project is structured in a way where you, instead of getting your props from B, maybe your props are coming from A. So how can you do that? Uh, let's do that and we will be doing some, uh, we'll be using spread operator here. So that's an interesting problem to solve. So let's do that. Okay, so we don't need to change anything here. So this looks good because we need those props in child. We don't need to touch here. And then we need to touch the app.js file and parent file. So let's get uh, rid of these props here. And we'll see some error over here because, uh, oh, we don't see error because it just renders uh, null here. Interesting. All right, so now the parents need to do same thing. So instead of deleting that, maybe I'm just copy it, delete it, save it, come here and then pass it like that. And then, uh, so I'm passing those props from parent component, from my app component to parent component. So now parent component uh, has access to these props, but we need to pass it to where we are calling our child component. So over here, we can uh, we can just say props, save it, and then instead of uh, writing down all over again, we can just pass our props here, like spread operator. So, do, 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 and props. And if we save it again, see, we can see our uh, result rendered on our child component. So I'll show you what we did here. So we have our app component, which is parent to our parent component, and we're passing these props. And inside parent component, we're catching those props here, and we're again passing them to child component, and then child component just rendering those props. So if we go to my robot, we're passing our props here, they goes down to here, and then this, this will catch those props and pass it here. I know it, it, it looks uh, complex or it looks uh, intimidating that uh, how, like, how can you do the, how can you pass those props? But believe me, as you will write more code, this will be becoming your second guess. Like you will be pretty comfortable in passing these props. This passing these props is not the complex part of React application, but it's an important part of React application. So I'm hoping uh, this is pretty clear. Uh, yeah, but if you, have, if you have any question you can always put in the comments and I'll respond to those questions and yeah I guess that's everything from prop side of react uh, but as we'll building we'll be building some projects pretty soon now because I don't like just show, showing you these random codes because these codes doesn't make sense most of the time like they are they're confusing but that's the only way I can teach them right I mean uh, or I can like create a project and do that uh, yeah, but I'll do that separately. So this is just for like, in case you're forgetting something, how do you pass props? Uh, you can you can use this way of doing prop drilling. Yeah, so this is called prop drilling. So I'm sorry if I didn't mention that earlier. So because see, what will happen if we have like uh, another component here and then another component here, and then you need to pass props from A to that component. This is called prop drilling. And there are different libraries you can use. I think Redux you can use uh, to do the same thing, but that will give you a whole new way of doing this, passing props, managing states. And React introduced a uh, context API, which we will cover uh, in the next few videos. Uh, but for now, uh, in case you need to do that, you can do it without any issue with prop drilling. But uh, if you have like, seven or eight level of uh, passing props, then I wouldn't recommend to do these prop drilling. But if you are two or three level, then then I guess they're fine, you can do that. But nowadays, uh, people, they just use context API and uh, we don't need to pass these props. That's a whole new way of uh, doing React, maybe. Okay, so that's all from this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.